Hey everybody, Mag here. Um, I was gonna, I need to teach some more lessons, put out some more material. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with chapter four information. The chapter three, between what you saw before we got quarantined, before we left school, and what I finished up uh, on YouTube. Chapter three material is pretty much done. And uh, so this is uh, chapter four, classifying polynomials. Uh, Polynomial functions are smooth, continuous, no gaps, no holes, and they can be drawn without lifting your marker off of uh, the board. So it has to be smooth, continuous, no gaps, no holes, no cusps, no sharp corners, and that's what a polynomial is. So this would be a polynomial. Any straight line would be a polynomial. Um, a straight line, horizontal line would be a polynomial any parabola, as long as it's smooth, continuous, all those would be examples of polynomials. If they have a sharp corner in them, if they have any gaps in them, any holes in them, they are not polynomials. So, for example, that would not be a polynomial. Um, if there has a hole in the graph at any location, uh, a break, then it's not a polynomial. So it has to be smooth, continuous, and you have to be able to draw it without lifting your pencil off of the paper. You have to class, know how to classify polynomials. We have, you have to know the ones that from constant to quartic. A constant would be like y equals 4. y equals 4 graphs out to be a horizontal line crossing the y-axis at 4. It's constant because it's a flat line, it never changes. So that's the constant function. Linear, linear is a straight line um, that goes up, goes down, has a slant to it. Uh, of course, a horizontal line is also linear, but a horizontal line is constant. So this would be a linear function, that's a polynomial. Quadratic are your parabolas. Parabolas in it that we graph will go up or go down. Cubic, cubic are like vertical snakes cubic functions, and then quartic functions. Quartic um, typically graph out to be like W's or M's. So what you guys need to know about this is constant is degree zero. Linear functions are degree one. Quadratic are degree two. Cubic is degree three. And quartic is degree four and you know the degree of a polynomial function is whatever the highest exponent term on the variable is so if the highest exponent on a variable is three is a cubic function a cubic function is going to graph out to be like a vertical snake if the highest exponent is a four it's going to be a quartic function and it's going to graph out typically to be you know like i said a w or an m shape of some sort um so that being said, it's going to say, given the polynomial, say you have y equals f of x equals 7x cubed minus 2x squared plus x minus 5. It's going to give you a polynomial function like this. And then it's going to ask you several questions. It's going to say, what's the degree of the polynomial? What's the degree of it? What's the leading term? What's the lead coefficient? And then it's going to say, you know, classify it as one of these. Is it constant? Is it linear? Is it quadratic? Is it cubic? Or is it quartic? Alright? So to get the degree of the polynomial, as I said, the degree of the polynomial is whatever the highest exponent term is on your variable. Well, I look at that polynomial, highest exponent is a 3, so this is a degree 3 polynomial. The leading term. In this equation, there are 1, 2, 3, 4 terms in the equation. And the leading term, uh, of course, you always need to write stuff in standard form from the highest exponent down to the constant. 
If it's not in that form, you need to put it in that format from the highest exponent term down to the constant. The leading term in this case is going to be 7x cubed. Coefficients are numbers in front of variables. Uh, the lead coefficient is the number in front of the highest exponent term. So the lead coefficient in this equation would be the 7. And then classify, well, is this polynomial function constant, linear, quadratic, cubic, or quartic? Well, it's going to be cubic because it's a degree 3 polynomial. So those are the answers to that uh, problem. So I'll give you, you know, I'll make up one more and ask the same questions. So let's say we have negative y equals h of x equals negative 9x to the fourth minus 5x squared plus 3. What's the degree of this uh, equation? What's the degree of this polynomial? Well, it's a degree 4. It's a degree 4 because it's the highest exponent of variable. Leading term is going to be negative 9x to the fourth. In this equation, there's 1, 2, 3 terms. None of them can be combined because to combine like terms, they have to be the exact same variable to the exact same power. You can't combine any of those. There's one, two, three terms, and the leading term is negative 9x to the fourth. Leading coefficient is negative 9. And would this polynomial be constant, linear, quadratic, cubic, or quartic? Well, it's going to be quartic because it's a degree 4. All right, so hopefully you have an idea of what a polynomial function is. You can classify it, um, and uh, you have to know whether it's a constant function, linear, quadratic, cubic, or quartic, and depending on what the degree is, we'll let you know, you know which one of those that it is. So that's the topic on polynomials for right now.